Okay, guys. So I'm just gonna tell you how to make this mason jar, and you can see like all these um different types of papers. You can do use different types. Um, just make sure that's really thin and like kind of papery, so you can rip it really easily, so that you can do that and like paint it on easily. Um, so what you can do with it is you can fill it up with um all sorts of stuff. I sometimes use Legos. Um, if you wanted to, it could be a pencil holder. Um, well, um, if you like got this one add-on, it's where like there's these different things where it's holes, and then you can zip it on so that the pencils stay in it. Um, or you can maybe put rocks in it from a special person, or maybe that you found. Um. Well, what you do first is you take off the top, the two top pieces so that you do not get them um, mixed in. But if you do want to color the top, make sure you put um, the Mod Podge on it and make sure that you just layer it down because it's harder on the metal and it's easier on glass. So I did this at an American Girl Doll Camp. Um, but I used um, just like the paper and then I used it's called um Mod Podge. I'm so sorry. It's called Mod Podge and um you wanna just layer it on with a paintbrush right like this nice and easily so that there's just a little thin layer and then just overlap with paper um you want to make sure that it's see-through let it dry after because the main important thing is laying it dry then you can maybe paint back over it and fill up any spots you can put a candle in it and then close it up so that at nighttime it can just glow and then you can see all the paper through it that's why you want to use little thin pieces of paper um, but that's basically it. Put your paintbrush in there or something. Um, whatever you want. Just make sure that there, there's tons of different things, but Mod Podge is better because it's kind of like better than glue because it actually goes clear on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of clear right there, and that's the Mod Podge. Um... But it just goes clear on like that. Just make sure that you overlap it. And then once you're done with all of it, make sure that you do one thin layer so that it all sticks and it doesn't feel all bad. It kind of feels smooth. Thanks for watching. Bye.